my attempt to upstage the sense. Failing. My vocal prowess is no competition. Or my verbal prowess is no competition for a bunch of synths. Vocals in the band camp release. Send growls is a thing. Or growl. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be fun. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me let me throw this up. because it wasn't one-to-one -one of, uh, of the original image, but I, I figured it out and I, I had to go in, I think you had it as Behringer Mixer and I just wiped that out so I just said Mixer, because it's actually a Soundcraft, uh, a Soundcraft EPM. Uh, it's these dinky little mixers, but I love them because they have two sends that you can do pre or post and uh, I mean, it's missing a couple of things, but I got it for like next to nothing from a buddy of mine, so. Oh, don't apologize, it's all good. Uh, it's no biggie. I, you know, when I, said, when I saw some of your interpretations, I was like, man, do I just, I probably talk too fast and mumble. Damn it. <laughs> Oh, whenever you have time, mate. This is fantastic. This is uh, this is beyond cool. And I like the fact that you you already made them semi-transparent. I was gonna do that, and then I noticed like uh, it was it, they were already leaking through, and I was like, oh no. Yeah, I never did make that list. I was I was trying to figure out how to do the overlay thing, and I forgot to make the list. What a freaking list. Yeah, that yeah, that that's on me. I appreciate this though. This, this is beyond awesome. Uh, I was just blown away because I was thinking about it. I'm like, man, I don't know how to go about this because yeah, it's like a weird perspective and all that. But you nailed it. This is this is perfect. I think I would have overthought it too. I would have been like, no, I need these letters to line perfectly and I need them to get bigger and then get smaller. As I would I would overthink the, sh the, the living snot out of it. It can be polished. I am not a graphics person at all. No. Yeah, don't worry about it. This is fine. No one, it's really just a key, you know? It doesn't need to be anything perfect. Um, at all, because this is this tells more than enough info. Yeah, I love it. Thank you again. This is uh, come in. I need to figure out. Well, I guess I can do it this way. Well, then I can. Well, I'll just do it. you like I think it it uh, I think it works for legibility and uh, you know honestly if someone's looking at it 
they're going to want it to pop up for like a couple of seconds and they'll be, oh, that's a VCO, you know? It's just going to be a quick key that pops up. And they'll, or they'll be like, oh, that's filter stuff, or, you know? Um, no, this is cool. This is very, very cool. They pop it up one more time. Well, not one more time, but... Exactly. If they just need to get the words, you know, I, we don't need to break it down to what brand or whatever. That's an excellent talking point, you know, is where we get in to, to talking about it more. But, you know, just so people can know where stuff is without having to ask that question, I think it's nice because that'll, you know, that helps with the people that don't want to ask stupid questions or ask questions that, although there aren't too many of those left. <laughs> Which is good. I don't. That's my. That's my bread and butter. People asking questions. <laughs> uh, I was thinking it'd be really neat if there was a way to do like in Twitch web overlays. I'm gonna start. I know they have it, but I think it's just like it looks like complex APIs and stuff, that, and they're designed for video games and stuff. And I'm, but I'm wondering if someone, like, went to the trouble of going, oh, here's my thing, you just plug crap in and you get your parameters. Yeah, exactly, a Twitch extension. Well, look, I'll look into that more, because that would be tight, right? You could just mouse over the Euro rack, and little pop-up list would come, and, uh, and it'd have all this stuff, and you could have links built into it too, so they could just go to modular grid and for all the, the stuff in the Euro rack. And you know, uh, same with the big stuff, all the stuff on the right too. That'd be cool. Um, but it, it is a lot of work, so. <laughs> uh, work versus return is also a, a consideration. But I think it'd be really tight. I think that would draw people in, honestly. Um, too, because I don't I don't know if anyone else is doing that. If so, I need to check it out. But I think that would draw people in. That you know, because uh, I don't, you know, there's a lot of people that lurk through, and I wonder if it's just uh, you know, they're interested or they're not interested. You know, I, I I skim through a lot of Twitch stuff, and I'm like, you know, I have the attention span of of a two-year-old child, you know? I'm just like, oh, he stopped doing something cool. I'm gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't think so either. So that would be something that would be kind of a neat, neat thing to, to kind of separate from the flock, sort of. Just to offer things different. It's like I'm saying, you know, your attention span is so small, or mine is, that I, I should say, not you. But mine is, and so I kind of feel like that's what a lot of people do. And if they have a lot of stuff to interact with and some, you know, new things, uh, then it's more entertaining, you know, to kind of kill time when, you know, effectively it's somewhat of a boring stream. I'm, I'm so shocked people are into it to this day. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me pull one more, one more from Jaw here. This camera looks slightly out of All right. So I hope this multi-tracking works. I started noticing that the drive would just suddenly say it was disconnected. And I, I fiddled with it and I'm like, oh, let me test it. And I've been running it for an hour and 20 minutes recording everything. And it hasn't done it yet, but I, it started to come to me why that drive was where it was. Because I recall it just randomly shuts down and disconnects. And it's not a, it's, it's not an OS thing because I've, it's done it on my, my NAS because I tried to back stuff up with it and it's done it uh, apparently here. 
but I don't know. Hour and 20 minutes is pretty good. It, it didn't. It wasn't lasting an hour before, so it may be. It may have to do with the smart uh, function because uh, smart gets ran in kind of weird times, and it may just put it out when it does the smart test. But it won't do a smart test when it's recording. I, I don't think it will, anyways. And that's all a bunch of speculation. Alright. So, I cleared everything out. I put some tape down here so when I bang my knees, I don't get as many splinters. I was picking splitters out of my knees. I was like, oh, jeez. Because I don't normally use this chair. Um, but it's uh, it's got great lumbar support. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right. So I even pulled most of everything out of here because I really, really wanted to do something different. I, I patched some stuff together so we have some tunes. But... Uh, Ouch, yeah, yeah, exactly. Now it's got nice fabric tape, gaff tape under there. Um, I patched it so we have something to kind of open up with. We're listening to my, I, I think this is my remix of a Coil song. I, I started writing some sequences for it. But it's just like that bass line. Wait, there is like the... Oh yeah, the top part's kind of cool. It's a bunch of 16th notes. <sighs> but... Um, I didn't really have the time to think about what would be uh, a cool, different, challenging thing to do. Yesterday, um, Observer came into the channel and suggested a dual pulse width, uh, detuned dual pulse width uh, oscillator. And we tried it with two pulse widths moving away and, um, you know, basically wah wah. And then we discovered that it's much cooler if they work like windshield wipers because they kind of scan in and out of each other from the detuning. And uh, then we found that if you pitch that down, it's pretty dope, like, like really dope. And so that was fun, uh, but I, I, I neglected to look up any other ones that would be great. Yo, Observer, ask and ye shall receive. Observer. You you gave a you gave me such awesomeness uh, yesterday with that with that uh, patch suggestion. Do you have any more magic today, or I mean, I could I've got everything disconnected, so the sky's the limit. You know what I have for the most part, um, and uh, and you actually. You actually like do your homework more than I do on like patches. Um, we've got the uh, we got the FH2 and uh, with the Euclidean pattern, and then we've got a pulse divider. We basically have two separate pulse dividers, so keep that in mind. Um, right now, this this one's just making the clock. Um, actually. It's, I just have it on for lights. It actually needs to get a feed from something. But for now, it is light show. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Let me throw up the overlay. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, this will help us out with a little bit of patch knowledge here. Of, uh, what might be something good and useful. Um, now down here we have the same old, same old. We've got two voices. They got, we already know. I've got 
just two buffers and a logic, um, but it's where it's at. And then um, the disting and of course the FH2 doing Euclidean end time and then it also has some uh, LFO pulsing out. All that can be, all these are going to sync together with whatever we feed it or we can make it the master clock if we want. I don't like to because it's, uh, it's turning a tiny knob to change the tempo and uh, I, it, I'd rather turn, turn a yummy knob. Uh, that was cool. CV lab square wave LFO to your clock divider. CVable square, okay. Um, yeah, we could do that. Uh, so we'll use the Wave Runner LFO uh, for a couple of reasons. One, it already has a clock generator built into it. And, um, ooh, I heard that glitch. Uh, the other benefit to it is, uh, well, I don't really want to use a super long one. All right, let me read the rest. A CV CVable square wave LFO to your clock divider or a pulse width modulation LFO, pulse width oscillator LFO rate going to a clock that isn't your master clock for gate generation or for voice. Interesting. So we're taking a... So we're taking a square wave pulse and we're monkeying with its pulse width to F with the clock, the clock divider, if I'm, uh, if I'm uh, reading you right. Give me a second, I gotta remember. Um, which, uh, may have to use an LFO, or I mean an oscillator to LFO because um, I don't really have anything. None of mine really have the pulse width stuff. The, um, the, the Frequency Central Wave Runner VC, uh, LFOs have a ton of features, but not pulse width modulation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, um, stand by for just a second. I, I don't know if I want to take a whole CGS VCO out of commission, but I think it's worth it. I just wish I made more now. Like, way more. All right, I'm gonna pull this overlay away for a second. Slow it down. There you go. That's wow. That's weird. It's kind of weird that one always stays hot, right? Oh wait. Huh. Oh well, whatever. I don't care. It's still dividing, and it's dividing correctly. So now you're talking about pulse width modulation. So um, are you, so with the pulse width modulation, are we gonna send it like uh, just a little triangle wave going nice and slow or, uh, or what do you recommend, some, some funk? Get funky? I'll use good old trusty Susie here. She's never let me down. Wow, 
it does not care. It is getting pulse width hard, and as far as I can tell, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that's still pulsing. goes all the way to one edge it like can still determine the divisions oh wait here we go if I go all the way to the right there we go okay it was that I think it was operator error there interesting so do you, you'll take the divisions and just use them as straight gate triggers? Or do you do any additional CV processing? Because uh, that's hot, yo. I'm into it. Let's, uh, let me think here. Um, let's see, let's... Uh, Let's do a filter for now. Um, here, we'll go ahead and let me let me patch this. Uh, can this reach? Actually, you know, I like this for filters a lot of the time. And then um, uh, a little shorty for the gate generation. Yo, Jitsbo, oh hey, yeah, how's it going? Good to see you in the chat, mate. We're doing a little synth patching. Uh, check this out, one, one of the, Karmic made this, uh, one of the other. Oh. A little overlay explaining kind of what's going on. Everybody should check out Jitsbo's stream. He's one of my favorite streamers. Uh, I love checking out his stuff. Uh, he's working on this fantastic game. Uh, I can't wait for it to come out, man. I, uh, I'm psyched. But uh, yeah, we're just building a, building some synth patches. Uh, Pretty much all these different elements here just kind of are different parts to make a to make a sound, and uh, we're just hand wiring it all. Um, you might already be familiar with Euro Rack and so forth. It's pretty cool. Most of this is uh, handmade, like this stuff um, that I've been doing. That's what we do on the daytime in the stream. Let's uh, come out of here, and we'll go back into the mixer. Throw this guy through this filter, if it'll reach. So, what is he up to? The chef? I, I am. 
I don't know. I'm kind of like getting all my metaphors melted together, you know? Like I put menu and I'm like, oh, let's do like a cooking theme. That's funny. Ha ha ha. And then it's like, well, I'm, I'm in Jamtown, so I'm like a, you know, a selector and it's music. But then there's still that food aspect and it, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I guess I'm the chef, but it almost feels uh, pretentious to say that. So, I'm gonna pull these drums down. So this isn't, it's still going, but it, it looks like it's, it's instead of, uh, instead of it being like a random pulse, I think it's dividing the pulse down. So if, if I take it back, it's there. And if I do that, it's pushing it in try like a different rate on the on the modulation cooking with jams there you go exactly exactly I'll be back later playing playing on my big on my rig a big playing on my rig a big rig a big rub a dub rock and roll here we go <laughs> all right that's fine observer you give me like this patch idea and then you leave me hanging that, that classic, classic. <laughs> I kid, I love you, mate. I'll uh, see you soon. And I'm excited for what you're working on. Hopefully it is awesome. So I'm gonna keep going with what he was suggesting now. God, that, that bass thing is gnarly. So, um, here we can take out the kick. Um, let's speed this up too. Alright, let me take those jumps back so I can figure out what's going on there. good enough for, for cooking. I guess it is a cooking show. I should have should have put it in a different spot on the on the board thingy. Alright, so and I'm going to put it into a VCA so we can uh, open it and close it independently of that filter. So effectively our node on, node off action. Right now it's all the way up so it's going to just be node on. Oh yeah, yeah. These are cool. They'll stay open so you put something in and then it it, uh, it doesn't send enough voltage to keep it open they're normal jacks super handy I'll do the full out Run 
this through an attenuator because it's just it's pushing it up too much it's too much we got to bring it down just a wee bit That's more control. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry guys, I'm, I'm, I missed everything. I have a feeling if I were doing this cooking show, there would definitely be some smoke. And the only sound would be here is this. Yeah. <laughs> well, same. This is why I keep everything digital a lot less expensive when I mess up. Yeah. Although, I'll say, you can't break anything here, but it, it can break. How's that work out? See if I can speed up this pulse. There you go. That's what homie was talking about. Pull the, the sound of a thousand dying horses. Can't break anything here, you know me. <laughs> Thank you for the host, yo. I appreciate that. Don't have any viewers, but I'll throw a host your way. Hey, all love is good love, you know. I appreciate all love, man. We put some delay on that so it has a little. <laughs> That's weird. So it almost goes like... That's so weird, it changes. to do the off sync of that. How do I? Oh, because I would need to sync it from the LFO point. Um, I don't think I could do that. Fudge. Curse you, observer. You have put me in the predicament I cannot find a mouth. How? How? Okay, so now, so here, I don't know if it's it's obvious. What I want to do is, um, I'm like, oh, well, this is kind of cool. I want to sync it to the to the drums and oh, yeah, I can't because it's just making random stuff that's technically in time. I wonder if it's in time to that. Probably not. That wouldn't make any sense. Uh, I'm sorry, to that is uh, this LFO that's modulating the pulse width. I'm trying to figure out where I could grab it. I wonder if... No, nah, this pulse has got to be... Oh, no, 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 no. Man, my watch keeps thinking I'm talking to it. That's why I never wear it on stream. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think. Yeah, I I lose my uh, my word skills because I I uh, ooh so um. Damn it. 
Okay, so... Oh, oh, oh! Okay, so... This might work. This might work. So, the, uh, the oscillator here has a bunch of different outputs. Unfortunately, it does not have another pulse output that's unaffected. However, it does have a sub-oscillator, which puts out a pulse. So, the only part that sucks is that it's really quiet when it starts, so it may not be a tall enough um, high-low for the thing to catch it, because you have to pass a certain threshold for the voltage. Anything to make this, uh, this wow, wow cooler, right? Here, I'll, I'll make it a little more down to the ground. Okay, so let me, gr let me, let me grab the, this long one here. Let me listen to it just to hear where it's at. Yeah, it's so low. It might work. Oh yeah. Is that driving everything? It was, okay. But that's just driving the notes, not the pulse. So if I took the... Man, there's no way. I could do it with the reset, I guess. Oh, snap. Let's just hear what it sounds like. Oh, did I stop it? Oh, I did. Oh, no. Let me, let me make sure it's... Nah, they have nothing to do with each other, do they? That's, that's sad. You know, a lot of sadness there. It's not big enough here to... Oh wait, wrong out. Holy smokes, it's fast enough! <laughs> or it's, it's, it's uh, high enough voltage. That's hilarious. The only problem is it's, it's a subdivision, so it's like, it's slower than the original. Sounds kind of cool, though. Let's speed it up a little bit. I don't, I don't think it's spot on there. worth a shot. I don't know why it doesn't work at <laughs> Yeah, it just stops producing pulses for a second. Observer's idea, but unfortunately, I, I don't have any LFOs. I don't think I, can, I'm, I have a lot, but I, I don't think any of them have syncability and pulse width modulation at the same time.
but it kind of makes a cool break to the beats. And I can feel it. Do you? Probably not. Because we get down every second. We stop. Okay. <laughs> so we could inadvertently create like a great tune that will never happen. Wizardry is <laughs> No, this is pretty bow. This is pretty bogus, really. But I, I appreciate your the cinnamon. The cinnamon. All right, so let's get rid of this. Sounds kind of weird. <laughs> I think that's like uh, four bars. Yeah, that's like a weird. What was I doing? That's it. Let's, uh, wish I could take that thing down lower. really soft for some reason. Hmm. It's weird. Must be all the reverb it's used to. So let me set, that's an A, so. What if I can go down an octave on this? It's like as low as that oscillator goes. That's, that's my only um, gripe about the synth, uh, Synthtech uh, cloud generator. It may be me, though, but I spent some time on it. You think I'd. You think I'd figured it out? Cinnamon is real. It is real.
I changed it. That's weird. the parts. Go figure. Oh, good old hats. Never let you down. Look at that. That's, that's expert writing. Those are skills you can take to life. Life skills, I think, is what they're called. They could be called something else, but that is patented, as I understand it, and is subject to DMCA strike down. So, watch out. Watch your butts, kids!
party at the club. Get to the club right now. I am not messing around. This is serious. The club. Pronto.
go simple here. Although, I don't know why I would do such a thing. That would be stupid. Let's make it cool. I feel like I'm at the rave. Why didn't I make that a stackable? I have damned us all! Hold up, I have a plan. Although it could mess up everything. Actually, that kick sounds so nice. I'm going to try to remember not to cover up the camera today, but no promises. Oh, yeah, 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 this thing works now. Because I can't... Everything's so bloody hot. Thank <laughs> you. 
so weird. Why does this... like they're teeter-tottering and it's making me nauseous. Luckily we have the murder. What the hell? Trying to reset it back. Got an idea, got an idea That will maybe fix our problems Maybe Probably Thank you. 
todavía. So that's funny, that's pretty on spot. Okay. So. Let me do this one real fast. Close enough. want to do this uh, oscillator up here real fast. Just had to get everything back in tune. I was like chasing my tail trying to tune stuff, and that's not cool. It's not cool at all. Yo, Joe. I hope I can remember how to get this moving again. Oh, it's that damn LFO. Still, it sounds like it's coming out on one side. Oh, 
Oh, because I'm stupid. Happens. Those hidden tiny jacks. But I do prefer a little stackage on this divider. Breaking that rules. If I can, I want to get like some wicked, you know, bubbly acid. I know I keep doing it, but whatever.
spot. I feel like we can do a lot more than just this sound. Call me crazy. Call me weird. Call me what you will. I don't take it lightly. Oh, I'm so glad we got that clap working. That thing is. That's fucking. That thing's really cool. Thank <laughs> you. 
this pattern pretty well so let's feed it into the shift register and uh, see what pops out outputs just put into these buffered bolts so that uh, you know you can change stuff and look cool all right so I'm feeding it but it requires a clock source now the clock source pretty much determines where the chopping is gonna happen a little similar. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, it's like the same thing. Alright, um, maybe a higher chopping is required. Ooh, wait a minute. to go through a quantizer. Let's 
Let's try something here. So, here we go. This is something I haven't done. Um, we'll go take a nap. No. A long one. Nah. I kid, I kid. No, I was thinking, um, what if I put it into this, uh, this neutron here? What? What? What are you talking about, man? What's that going to do? I don't know. That's weird, it's like, it's in between uh, notes. Did I, oh, I unplugged it. Duh. Let me plug it into here. Alright, now let's uh, let's get freaky. Let's get freakier. That's the real that's the real moment. So now I wanna take the uh, so the analog ship register has one in, three outs. And it goes through and chops up the voltages in this kind of matrixy cookie cutter format and then spits them out in these different ways as they drop off the different outputs. I think it needs to... Oops. Oh wait, I'm stupid. Okay, that's cool. So there we go. We got one sequence being fed in, and uh, we're creating all these other little melodies. I've got them gated all differently. If we turned them all their gates on, I bet it would they they just sound like garbage.
let me uh, try to try to jazz it up, you know. Put some put some paint on it. Take it to the fair. Say it's something good. I know it's not. Oh yeah, I forget this gate. I can open with my thumb. Yo, Mac Joe, how's it going? Ah, <laughs> yo! Yeah, yeah, we're doing the, uh... We're doing the big pizza thing! Uh, here, let me do the, uh... Overlay that, uh... Karmic threw together here. Next week, I'll have it set up so you can just, well, or, it just wasn't enough time, uh, so you can just do a command and it'll throw up for a few seconds and then it'll go away. It'll be so cool. Oh yeah, what uh, what synth did you rebuild, Mac Joe? That's awesome. wrong with it or, or was you where is it just like uh it could work better and you went through and cleaned up stuff or uh what was the what was the rebuild mate i'm curious now oh shit Dirty. So, like a clean out type scenario. Pretty it up. Check the battery, stuff like that. Also, I think the power jack plug is an old school, bigger one. Seems to have a lot, a lot of play when it's plugged. Ah, yeah, yeah. Man, I'm glad that got sorted out. I remember that BS in like the 80s and 90s. Like Sony had their own proprietary DC connector. Like, eat me, man. Well, this is how we're gonna make all our money from Transformers. <laughs> I like that idea, Brain. I'm gonna build a little attenuator here. I wanna, I wanna feed it an LFO because I'm sick of doing it by hand. That's for babies. Where's that LFO nearby? That one's not working too well. Shisa. Shisa.
Oh yeah? I forgot to take it off. <laughs> no way, really? Huh, let me, uh, let me dump that transparency down just a little bit. Uh, oops, come back. <laughs> there you go, there's a little lighter opacity. I've got V2 in the inbox. Oh, yeah. Alright. Oh, I don't... We're kind of playing with fire when I go to that. about the fire. So far the recording's good. It stopped at one point, but I don't know what what it was. Um, but it was only, I think we only lost like a couple minutes, nothing. Uh, let's see, three attachments. it up here.
That's great. Yo, that's awesome. Beep, bop, bop. <laughs> All right, I'll leave it up for a bit. Um, now I can I can add some uh, some more uh, transparency. Yeah, let me turn this down so I'm not shouting the whole time here. We can get this in for uh, an Inkscape. Okay. Well, I've got this little uh, opacity meter here built in so I can I can kind of do it here I, I took it down another uh, I don't know 30 percent that's what we're looking at right now I don't know if that's still legible though let me look at my um, my live view that's that's fairly legible I think I hear myself somewhere That looks really sick. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what I needed to do is just full screen it. It, it, it. it went over slightly, I don't, I don't know. Okay, well, I'll leave it like this. I mean, if, uh, for now, we'll, we'll take it off after a bit, you know, and, and just kind of cycle back and forth or something. Let's go. I like it though. I think it's really cool. It uh, it definitely uh, definitely does stuff. I'll I'll uh, I'll set you up with a uh, a full list of everything if you'd like to um, for maximum accuracy. But I mean, this is this is. This is really cool. All right. So we spit that in, and it came up with this. So now uh, I want to I wanna create a, another sequence. I'm wondering if we could get away with just monkeying with these knobs and uh, putting it in a scale, of course, but just like messing with the knobs and seeing if it comes up with something gold or the sm scent of gold. Yeah, yeah, this is cool. Let me, uh, let me, yeah, I want to do it. I want to, I want, I want, I want to. So right now we're in chromatic. Um, let's go for the good old harmonic minor. Ooh, you can already hear it. these knobs gingerly look at that only one source of CV three voices I mean it's a little hokey I won't lie. And we could just move these guys around. Yeah, that's really cool. Oh, it's 
is this? That's funny. That's weird. I wasn't expecting that. Let me let me change the timer on it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, oh, shoot, mate, I missed this. Uh, glad you like it. Did you just touch the attenuator? Just checking if it matches uh, the label. Yeah, yeah. Um, oops. Well, actually, this is the ASR right now. This is uh, a VCA. We'll get it straightened out. Um, it's really damn close, so I'm not I'm not picky at all. Um, afterwards, we can just uh, go pop 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 and uh, and have it all labeled proper. That is, yeah, <laughs> that is pretty cool. I, di I didn't even look at it on screen. Yeah, <laughs> that is tight. What okay, a little delay. Man, I, I'm starting to get lost in this match. It's hilarious. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what's doing what again? Oh my god. What a great problem. I'll tinker with Twitch extensions this week. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, um, we'll get together and we'll uh, we'll figure out some stuff uh, to make it easy and whatnot. Because I appreciate this, but the last thing I want you to do is extra work. If uh, there's an easier way, you know, <laughs> work smart, not hard. My non-lazy motto. 
Hit that two hour mark. I'm gonna take a quick break. Uh, I won't lie, my back has really been bothering me. I spent like an hour with my little massager, robo massager thing in my chair and just was like this. For like a solid hour trying to work out these knots. And then I, I wake up and I'm, it's like that new sore pain. So I'm like, man, I gotta drink as much water as I can stomach. Doing it in HTML, I agree. Um, I don't plan for this to change too much. So if we, um, once we start adding back in, this area right here is where things start getting added in. This is a blank plate. Uh, I never use this. I never use this. So I'll pop those out and and put stuff in there. Once we get the um, the Junger Halvel uh, living DCO, it'll probably live here. I'll take these two things out and and it'll come down one more slot, and I'll just have the Euro rack live here, the little Euro thing, and then I'll. Uh, I'll put the power supply back there next to the other power supply, or I'll figure out some things so it's uh, nice and tidy. And then, uh, yeah, honestly, I'm probably just going to move my way down before I move this stuff around. Maybe if we get a lot of stuff, then it will, but I swear, like, moving this around is a week-long project easily it's a long long project i don't like to do it and it sucks that there's not there, you know modular grid won't work for me <laughs> i used to have a spreadsheet and i would do it that way i would rig it up in a spreadsheet and have it so you know that the width and everything and but eventually i just got tired of it i'm like who cares you know if it if it it's a big modular beast you'll have it i'm going to take this thing to my to my freaking grave, so um, I'm sure it'll uh, keep changing. Oh man, yeah, like like this muscle right here hurts when I touch it. Like like it's bruised or I got a zit back there. Oh man, yeah, I overdid it. I may have to take more than just one day off, but I don't want to. I want to power through, so we'll see. <laughs> Wait, what was that? Do they have just power on the back plane, or is there any communication between the modules? No, it's all power. Um, but there's certain limitations in some of the cases. <laughs> like, um, this one I think has all the power rails used. There's one bus on the back. It may be mounted on the back, but they're all used. Um, I know it's kind of weird. You have to, uh, uh, you can work around it. This one's, this one's really easy. This is a double unit. It's not a single and it has a power supply built into it. And I isolate power for certain digital modules that produce a bunch of noise on the ground plane. Well, that was my plan, but since ground gets shared, it, 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 it's moot. I thought it would fix this, um, LFO. Come on, little buddy. There you go. I knew you'd stay gold, pony boy. Stay gold. <laughs> yeah, when we change things, it'll it'll be a thing. But I will say, I'm um, I haven't gotten the whole week figured out. But I want to fix some of these modules. You know, like this this uh, gate generator isn't working. It should be giving me little random pulses. It's stuck on. It's probably something easy. Um, what else? Oh yeah, my favorite filter in the whole wide world sounds like garbage. So I'd like to get that because I like this Saturn, but I like this Erica synth a lot too. So we'll see. All right. Um. Anyways, I'm rambling. 
and we're just hearing. Let me let me switch that up so we don't have to listen to that. What if I reverse the voltages? Ah, oh, I love ASRs. I love sample and holds. They just. Oh, it's so neat. All right. Yeah, let me take a quick break. Um, you know what? I'll just uh, I'll just leave this up like this. I kind of like the other screen, but uh, it's kind of a slow day. There aren't a lot of people coming in, and you're chilling, Karmic. So if you see somebody lurking in, you know, I guess I don't know. Well, you know what? Let me uh, let me just write a be right back on the top. That'll be easy enough. Because uh, I like the, the I like the other one a lot, but I love this thing so much that uh, oh wait, have I already made a be right back? That I that I did BRB. Oops. Oh yeah, and then I didn't size the lecker. Here, I'll put it over here so it doesn't interfere with the awesomeness. Oh, I love editing things live on stream. It looks like way more professional than I think other people realize. All right, thanks for the awesome tunes. I'ma call it a night. Yo, right on, Karmic. Uh, early as it as it's a work day to me. Yeah, that's true, and I started a lot later. Thanks so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, no worries. No worries, mate. Thank you so much. I'll, uh, I'll shoot you an email uh, with some more info and stuff, and uh, yeah, we can collaborate and get some stuff moving. Uh, but yeah, let me take a break. Oh, wait. Uh, no problem. Had tons of fun. Same here, mate. Same here. Awesome. All right. I'm going to leave this up because I love this little overlay and I'm going to take a break and then we'll get back to uh, Brappen.
And I'm in detail. I'm rapping on the mic while the fly girls yell. So, really sad news. That drive I was worried about. I had good reason to worry about it. Um, it, it died while I was recording. I should be able to possibly pull the data off of it. But... Um, Expectations are low. So what I'm gonna do, I don't have a, the reason I was using the drive is because I don't have a lot of space on my uh, laptop for 2496 records. So what I'm gonna do is dump off the 96 and just do 4448. Well, probably 44. And then, um, but I'll leave it at 24 bit because 24 bit is light. Don't let anyone tell you differently. Okay, so this is at 44. Mm. All right. 
Well, I'll tick. I'll have to watch this thing and see if it gets out of hand on file size. You know, I'll have to stop it. Um, come on, arm you little buggers! Uh, that's not right. Oh wait, do we have one? Alright. Look at that channel real quick. Oh yeah, into the sky. In fact, it's like right shy of being too hot, so can I back off? That doesn't seem to do shit. Alright, whatever. I don't care anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, roll records on this. I can't see this, but it's hilariously awful. All right, so that's a good sign. Recording, let me pull up, uh, you know, let me just do. One more little thing here. Silly BRB. Oh my god, I thought this little star was was from uh you know something. Oh I thought it was the star that the uh, little stream avatar guys have to grab and I was like, oh, why is it blue and it's stuck? Bro, oh, that's that's real life, Sid. Oh, neat. Goodness, guys. I can't wait to get the TKB. We'll have to work on that for sure. I got a new iron. Or I got a spare iron and I have the tips. So we're no more no more me without in my tips. What's this? This is weird. Weird, weird, weird.
I feel like a change in the gates. Maybe, uh, maybe fruitful. Oops, that was the pitch, not the gate. Wait, yeah, it was. It was the gate. You stupid. Don't call me stupid. Hey, I can call you whatever I want. That's the deal. Break the deal up in front of others. Why? You don't want me to know about the deal. All right. I still don't know what the hell how something's playing here. Oh yeah, it's this guy. Go, good old Shruti. What is the TKB going to add in terms of capabilities? Oh, it's um, so it's a sequencer, but it's a weird sequencer. Um, so it it um, we'll deal with it, but it 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 has uh, four rows of sixteen. So it has four rows of 16, and uh, hold on just a minute. And so right off the bat, you've got four, you know, you've got four sequences that can run at the same time together, or you can run chords if you wanted to do Board stuff. Oh, that's the old one. Wait, it should be the. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I just gotta resize you. Uh, put the screen. Ba ba bing. All right. Um. So it's got four rows of 16, so yeah, you've got chords, you've got four sequences at the same time, but um, that's like the least it can do. Um, it has a lot of weird reset functions that are built into the, uh, the sequences themselves. So you can, um, uh, try not to shout so much. So you can, uh, you can create a lot of really short little loops, or you can create long loops. Um, you can also, uh, as far as like with it, and it has a little touch panel where wherever you touch is where that sequence starts. So if you have your gay going beep, 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 and you touch that, it'll start from wherever that point is. So you can effectively play a sequence or play um, pieces of sequences in any order that you want and it's very musical because you're just touching it with your fingers like a piano. Um, there's that, and then it can also, so it has the four outs, but then it has a combiner out, and you, it basically, you can go from, you can have a 64 note long sequence. Uh, so you can get pretty wild. Uh, with it, it's it's really cool. It's a, it's my favorite sequencer. I love it more than this thing. I'd almost rather use the TKB than this, but there's a couple of things it does that the TKB can't do. So I, I I'm gonna stick with it. But I've told uh, Observer before, like man, I really want to like just take this thing out and just have nothing but improvisational analog equipment. And so, you know, I, I, I show up and just, you know, come up with stuff instead of, let me look up these patches here. Hey. Of course, I don't do that really anymore, but. 
I want to? <laughs> Anyways, all right, so I pulled everybody out. Here, we'll get rid of that because that's just gonna confuse us. So these are two parts of that one voice that's the cloud generator. Um, I don't know, we got a couple, we could, we could, we could do, we could do, we could do the Euclidean. We have these and ors too. Um, let's see if uh, maybe this or will. They're a little too different from each other. But what if I were to pull from this and stuck it? Okay, other way around. No, it sucks. It sucks no matter what you try to do with it. It's uh, it's awful. It's terrible, and I refuse to use it. Can I speak with your manager? My name is Karen. All right, so, oh wait, well, here, let me do the voice, because it needs to be the slowest, or the most hyped one. There we go. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I'm not, I'm not wrong, right? <laughs> what if I can write a little beat? I hear a beat. Hear a beat me head. Hear a beat me head. Go right out. There's no, no other, no other way. Alright, I don't know if there's anything on this sequence. I guess we'll find out. No, there is. Oh, it looks techno y. I'm just gonna clear it. I want. Well, I can. I won't save it or something. I don't know. Alright, I need to. Uh, I got some hat. I got the whole thing in my head. Yeah, let me put some delay on this to make it less boring.
<laughs> Did it go out? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, are we just... Huh? What? Why? Why come? Why come so slow? Oh yeah, that's right. The good old FH2 crashing, like clockwork. It's a little. So yeah, that's uh, it's two thirty-five. Yeah, it's uh, five, five and a half hours in. Like it's right on time. I will need to write them an email. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Space 1995 all over. <laughs> what if I could take it down?
Save me. Double my speed, then it won't be a problem. Speed doubling. This instantly sounds awesome. That's like a very dance hall. Got that uh, dance hall feel. I don't know if uh, I don't know what the hell's up with this stuff. Let's see what it sounds like. Bugging. Let's 
see if I can um, shift this down to eighth notes. to have inverters in here. I might I might have to put that in the Euro rack because that comes in handy. on the other voice. There's two other voices. We still haven't, we have no gates assignment to it. So it's just been like sad sounds, say so much. So I, I don't know, we could try, um,
Man, I'm watching this one pulse to the kick, like in perfect timing. with my gut, which was the D. It's like the D is going to work. But I was thinking about you, Mr. Camera. You're going to have these, oh shit, that's the wrong one. You're going to have this big D in your face. Are you okay with that? Some people don't like the D. That's not the right thing to mute. Uh, how to do this quickly, 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 and efficiently, and quickly. So, I'm going to stop this. I'm going to feed in. So, we're on yellow. I need to like get up hours before the stream and turn this thing on so it'll be warm enough for the show. Can I remember how to bring it back, back to life? Uh, yeah. It's all weird without the loves. getting there I, I was in my trance I was in my zone working on this like uh, bombo clock dance hall I always wondered how you tune a synth <laughs> yeah um, most of the stuff is good, but this D is bad. You have to keep retuning it. But yeah, you just use the uh, 
reference tone there, and that's supposed to be A. I hit A on the other keys. Boom, like a guitar. Trying to m mess around with this uh, analog shift register. This might be really dumb. I'm gonna stop you right there. It's not. Uh, but let's say you want to tune to A440 or whatever. Are you somewhat limited by the steps by which you can change voltage? I think that's how these things work. Yeah, exactly. Um, let me bump it down so I'm not shouting so much. Um, so not really, um, like generally a lot of this stuff is, uh, is free range CV, I guess is a way to think of it. Um, I, but when it comes to notes, those are the things that you actually will run through and make sure that they're, they're at the exact voltage that they're supposed to be. It's a 10 volt system and one volt is an octave. So it's this horrible equation that comes out for like C, C sharp, because 12 doesn't divide too beautifully into one. So, um, but you have different things like voltage quantizers. This uh, sequencer will always put out stepped notes. So they'll be in that, that, that proper voltage. Um, but in the same time, you don't have to do that and you can shift things and you can modify them around but when you want to set up like a Unity, um, you'll use something like A440 and just go through and tune everybody to that. Um, some people get guitar tuners. Um, I thought about getting one. I've, I've, it, the one I want is like a hundred bucks, so I'm real slow to buy it because it's just a light show and a guitar tuner. But Korg makes one that's a nice little LED and you can plug that in and that'll give you whatever note you need. You're, you're basically just mimicking on the keyboard so that you know, middle A is 440, no matter what instrument you go to. But it's not, it's not required by law. A, a lot, law. it's not requirement at all. That's what I should have said or meant to say. Um, in fact, for the longest time, I just kind of, I tuned them to the same frequency, but then I would send out notes to them and I really didn't know if it was right or not. The the guy that we're going in now, the analog shift register, I would just send weird LFOs, which are just wee wee, just all over the place. And it would step out notes, or at least it sounded musical to me. We could we could do that real fast, actually. Instead of uh, we've got a sequence going in right now. Pull it out. Now you just hear the last note that's played. And I'll just send it some stupid LFO. It's pretty wide range, so it'll it won't be that cool. Let me get something a little. Uh... I know. Let me let me attenuate it down so it's a smaller uh, scale. The 
only problem with feeding it an LFO is that your lowest volt, which is going to be a, perhaps a lot, is going to be your lowest note. So it just hangs out in that low note. I don't know, maybe I can speed it up a lot. So it's, it, anyways, it's a lot. So in this case, I'm just sending it a sequence. But the nice thing is, it's one sequence, and then it goes into the analog shift register, which just chops up all the voltages, or the notes, however you want to call it. And then it spits it out in this matrix based off of a, of a, of a signal that you designate, the clock signal is the size of the, the chopped pieces. So it's uh, it's really nice to be able to go from uh, teeny tiny to really big, and you kind of get different. The thing I enjoy is that we have these three voices. I'm only sending one sequence out, and they all more or less work. They're, they're a little, there's some, you gotta work a little bit. It's not perfect, but I'm digging it right now. This is. We'll bring the, uh... wait, can I have, where's our, oh yeah, that's right, I had to do this. Yo, Observer, what is up, my man? Playing with the ASR, ASR. I'm gonna take this up an octave. It sounds a little out of tune to me. Let me. Um... Let me fix that real fast. will be the last time, but it won't. I'm back! Okay, I have another thing I'm curious about. Go right ahead, mate. How do you sync tempo or bars per cycle? Or time signatures, for that matter. Very good question. So, we'll take MIDI out of the equation completely. So, there's no MIDI. There is some, but let's just not go into that. So, you probably see these flashing sequences here that are going down. Uh, it's kind of hard. I mean, when you speed it up, it's really noticeable. But you see them ascending or, or descending, however you want to look at it. That is how all the timing and everything is kept track. So, you'll, you'll have your master clock that will be a pulse. We've got this guy right here. Is it? Does it show up? Eh, you can't really tell that it's flashing, but trust me, it is. Actually, you can see its color here. So it's coming in, and that's our master clock. I can change everything here. Here, here I'll half it. We'll go back. So that clock is generating it generating everything and then I go into these dividers which will break it down into smaller note divisions so like like we're hearing I think 
maybe 16th. It's kind of weird because I keep messing with it and I keep changing the scales. I haven't, I haven't found a uniformity that I like, if that's a word. But um, yeah, we'll have um, the different, uh, the different divisions are basically what you use for that. Um, like I just halved the time by turning that knob, uh, but if you wanted to, you can tell this one's beeping it. It takes two of these beeps to equal one of these, and three of the first one to equal one of those, etc., so on. I wonder what these high notes are. I don't like them anymore. Hopefully that answers your question. Interesting. Good, good, good. Yeah, you know what? I could, I do, I don't have a reset set here, but I, I can reset up here. I don't even know what the hell's coming on. Oh, the, eh, I mean, that'd be the best thing to reset off of. So yeah, like that synth, that was at the fastest speed. Here's the next speed down. And and so on. Wait, where was the good one? My bum bum. So. In, Observer, what do you like to send to your reset? Like random, or do you like something that's uh, repetitious? So you, you'll feed back your, your divider into your reset. Yeah, okay. I've done that before. I think I need two of these. Play around or a pulse with square wave going to the reset in an LFO rate. That can give you funky results if you play around. Alright.
change the change the Alright, so let me um let me find some shorter cables. Oh dear. Hi Choya Choya. My little kitty cat Choya. That's a joke. She's huge. She's cute. So, all right. Well, let me just do a regular gate thing. All right. Tangle, tangle. Yeah, so uh, you took off. I did that on uh, on my um, I did that on the um, with the Ken Stone, and what the results I got? What was it? So it was kind of cool. But the issue I ran into was I couldn't sync anything to it. So I uh, I had like this kind of uh, repetitious sequence, but I had no way to apply it to anything rhythmic, you know? Um, I, I, there was no way for me, unless I wanted to try to do it by ear, which, yeah. The LFO does, or, or excuse me, the VCO LFO does have a sub-oscillator out. However, it is affected by the pulse width modulation as well. So it's not a true independent. I forgot that. And I don't really have any other waveforms that would work. It only has a single pulse out. Um, but oddly, it has multiple saws. Hmm. Well, I want to generate some different gate stuff. I'd like to get some uh, good ideas here. Um, I wonder. So I do have I do have LFOs with VCAs built into them. So you can uh, you can attenuate them remotely. You know. Um, I wonder if that could be utilized as opposed to uh, a pulse width modulation to glitch it out, you know? Um, maybe not, I don't know. I'm trying to think of another way to do that with what we have. Here, I'll I'll pull up uh, the big boy here. I don't know if you saw this earlier, uh, Observer. So here's what we're working with, kind of. It, it's going to get updated. Um, you know, I do have a comparator, though. A 
window comparator, um, which is great for producing triggers. Um, It's not necessarily good random triggers. Square wave that gives you lots of control into clock division are your friends. Yeah. No, I agree. I agree. Well, oh, let me think. Um, hope you guys don't mind the the bumble the uh, dance hall. Um, you know what though so how about this though um, let me do your pulse width modulation into the reset point uh, because my clock will still say consistent but the reset would be kind of glitchy um, maybe maybe let's let's do it I'm gonna do it I don't I don't, I don't care. I'm a wild man. I live by no man's rules, except my own rules, and the rules of my doctor, and uh, my practitioner, and uh, uh, so there's a lot of rules involved in my life that a lot of people don't realize. <laughs> All right, so let me, um, how do we do this before? We fed the pulse with, let me grab a couple cables, couple cables, not that cable, but this cable. Maybe this cable. I need I need a long one here. This is long. So I'm gonna feed this reset. Here I'm gonna go into this inverter just so I can visually see what speed it's at, and it really doesn't matter. It's literally an AC signal, so. All right, so I want to slow this down. And I want to I want to get the pulse off to a weird spot. And then I'm going to take a lifo here. Apparently it's this guy. And uh, and push that pulse width modulation around. It's kind of funky monkey. Um, maybe it makes sound. Mate, <laughs> you scared me, little guy. My cat. He, if he's not, if he's not the center of attention, there's problems. Uh, so um, this is up. This volume is up. How did I make this stop making noise? Got the gate. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is starting to. Uh, you know, it's debatable. This is getting a little overly complicated. Um, yeah, there should be sound. Wow. Glitchy McGlitcherton, Mr. Observer. Hope you're happy. Let's see if I can. Uh... Hmm. 
same kind of issue I don't I don't I can't understand how I get it in time you know because it just farts all around when I try to do your re your cool reset stuff mate I don't I can't get the, the bacon something to feed this uh, this got or the uh, ASR because it's it doesn't it's not very cool It's my sequence. Let me uh, just roll my hands over some knobs here. That wasn't the best. It was second best. At best. Alright, so I kind of want to clear this out. Just a little bit. Well, you know what? I take that back. Let's do this. I got a better idea. Let's do an old fan Uh, 
also got. Zoom in a minute. I might have to detangle. There we go. Alright, so. Let's do. Um, I'm gonna be cool, actually. Um, let's see. Can I? Do I have any more dividers left? So, I'll just steal that. I don't want. It. Okay. So I'm gonna take that, and then I'm gonna take two big longies here. One, one pink and one green. I'm gonna have it uh, feed both these oscillators here. At the same time. Alright, this is done. I'm out. I'm out with that. Alright, now I need to feed it into Mr. Mixer. We'll just do a uh, pulse. Tune in, tune in, tune in. Right. Let's do this so it makes sense to sit. Pretty damn close. It's kind of neat, right? Three, three oscillators. They kind of get detuned when you.
just thought of something. So the, uh, let's put the wave in there. Uh, so the wave's really weird compared to a lot of other ones that I've, I've used. Um, but its weirdness makes it really neat. So in order to play the, the waves, it has to be fed a saw wave. find something that might be cool with these waves. And in. So I want to what if to get rid of this uh, annoying. Harsh beat wave. I mean, I love them. I named my son Beat Wave. But I just don't know. Oh wait, that's like way too freaking long. I 
I think I might have hit a knob. this thing to modulate. Um, I think I'll... No, shice, I just keep grabbing that really long one. Really long ones aren't the best sometimes. You gotta use a short one. CV. That's just all those guys kind of playing with each other, I guess. Oh, maybe that was it. I think the waveforms might... Man, that's weird. I think it's because they're... These two guys are inverted from each other. I thought it'd be a cool idea. Uh, no, I don't know.
Something's getting out of tune up there. They're gonna hear that. Uh, little dissonant. I have a horrible feeling I know which one it is. Let's do the pip 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 pip. Let's see, is this double bit? Let's go a little slower so we're not freaking our pants out.
that sweet overlay. Yo, 100 biddies. Why, thank you, thank you. Awesome, rock and roll. Yeah, um, Karmic came up with this. And uh, we're gonna fine tune it for next week. But, uh, I mean, it works pretty decently. I honestly should, looking at it more, I should eliminate my center. These all sound out of tune to me. So, Cat and Cog, are you, uh, did you decide whether or not you were going to stream tonight? Modular home. Oh, fan, fan, freaking tastic. Uh, awesome. So, in like, a, what, like in about an hour? Are you still planning to do nine o'clock? As usual? be nice to I don't think I've seen that other than little demos I don't think I've uh Super. Um, yeah, anybody lurking in chat right now, uh, definitely check out Cat and Cog's stream. Um, we'll probably uh, raid into that later tonight. Um, uh, you finished your remix, and so now it's, it's going to be more, uh, for the time being, a, a, an open canvas of, uh, of activities. So it should, be, uh, it should be a nice stream. I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what you're doing. 
Oh, man. Uh, if I can make it. I'm, I've been really, 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 really tired lately. Yet I, I don't get enough sleep. I, like, wake up and I'm like, oh, I gotta, gotta do stuff. <laughs> Whatever. I'll sleep when I'm dead. It's the best time to sleep. Oh, man. I'll tell you what, guys. Um, let me do this. just gonna let this roar for a little bit if you guys don't mind um, I think I'm gonna take a little break I'm just kind of I, I don't know if I need to get up and take a break I might I might stand up here in a minute and I'm on a mic wireless mic so I can stand up in this room and stretch and everything and uh, and all that good stuff I've still got plenty of water so I don't need to get that um, so I think we'll just kind of take a, a quasi break um, just trying, you know, I'm gonna work on cleaning out this, uh, this pesky scuba gear that I have. Uh, I always have it on stream. I just, uh, I don't like to bring it on because I, I don't want the stream to be about scuba and taking care of your scuba gear, especially blowing or pulling water through the different, uh, trap moment, traps inside. So I'll just, you know, I'm just go ahead and turn off the camera for uh, for moi and uh, work on cleaning my scuba gear just real quick. It relaxes me, you know, helps me think, allows me to maybe come up with a new idea that previous Sid hadn't. Yeah, we got a couple of modules I want to work on um, that aren't functioning or aren't functioning right. Some of them are new to me. I haven't noticed. Some of them are burning issues. One is surprising that my Ken Stone VCOs do not seem to be staying in tune, which is weird because they used to be the most rock solid thing. So I'm not I'm not sure what uh, that was about. a couple of things accomplished. Definitely get the TKB up and running. Because I miss it so much right now. And, um...
I guess that's top. Yeah, here's like they may need to be I may need to recalibrate them. It could be an issue with um, the tracking need to be adjusted. Hell, it could be my my syntax too. It was it seemed to act a little weird. Sorry, people, I'm, uh... Everybody should be getting the same note right now. Well, except that one. I used to just listen to uh, a real spacey, goofy thing that I like to do was um, take the two oscillators and um, tune them so that they're the same. Listen to them kind of drift apart because it would take a really, really long time and it was very, very subtle. Um, and I would leave these things up and just turn the speakers down 
and walk away and go, you know, watch TV, dinner, and all that stuff. And then I'd come back and I'd turn it up to, to hear because I was really curious how well they were going to track and how long they were going to track and all that crap. And they held up perfect. Um, so I, I don't know. It, it, it could be a couple of other things too. One of the issues I do have that could cause the right one to uh, to go out over the left one is um, the right one's fine tune knob doesn't work properly and I was so exhausted with working on it that I just was like yeah I'm cool and I mean as you can see I got it tuned so it's not impossible it's just not uh, Not easy sometimes, and I, and I think a lot of it borders on luck. Oh man. Uh, I won't lie, guys. I'm tired. I kind of want to end the stream, but I don't. I don't want to let you guys down. Um, and I kind of want to. I want to. I like. I like raiding Cat and Cog stream uh, on Sundays. It's a lot of fun. Um, this stream is definitely worth it. So, you know, I'm looking at the clock. I can do another hour for sure. Um, but I don't know what to do, to be honest with you. Like, the experimenting, I remember now. So, like, so the, the, big, the big modular is very different than my Eurorack setup. And like, you know, the, the what I set up in the Eurorack was basically the units that I could use in my big modular to consistently make good stuff. Traveling outside of that realm again and experimenting, I mean, some of this has been, eh, some of it's been, eh, you know. So, uh, But I am noticing, I'm, I'm, I, I am kind of falling back to that memory of like, oh yeah, this old chestnut. Where do you go? How do you make it pretty? That's kind of cool. You hear the uh, change independently. I'm going insane.
changing patterns. This thing is so hard to read when it's it's at maximum slowness. Yeah. I cannot understand how I'm supposed to get it. Gotta get ready to see you soon. Yeah, Cat and Cog, take it easy, mate. I'll talk to you uh, in a few. Look forward to your stream. Alright, I think I got it to stay. Nope. I'd have to just uh, suck it up, buttercup. I said I didn't want to mess this up.
no, no. How goes it, my mate? <laughs> yeah, yeah, here, let me, um... Someone selling it, I snatched it up. It's got a lot of uh, hard to, hard to find parts in it, so I was like, "Yeah, I'm just gonna get this." The guy wants 40 bucks for it. I'll I'll do it. So it was a nice deal, but um, but yeah. Uh, let me switch it back over here. Just been jamming out on uh, on the weekends, and then uh, building since on the weekdays. We built uh, this drum machine. I've got the Shruthi I've built and uh, some other stuff here and there. Uh, gotta gotta make the gotta make the stuff that makes the music, you know. But uh, oh wow, is that like? Yeah. There we go. I love how it's all black and silver too. Aesthetics. Yeah, yeah. This one should be black, but it's a long story. We'll we'll fix it on the stream and we'll get it so it's. Just all goth, goth black. I'll get some eyeliner for it and um, show it some dance moves, you know? Because it doesn't know. It's just, it's just a modular. You gotta teach it. <laughs> yeah, I enjoy the, there's a lot of different structures I come up with. I think I've settled on kind of the mini modem format that SynthTech does where you've got your your interfaces here on the bottom. You might have side interfaces, but everything's kind of at the bottom and then your knobs are at the top. I kind of kind of working with that. Uh, but a lot of these other ones, it's like what, you know, I, I either didn't have a choice or what the hell do you do? Uh, but just go nuts. <laughs> That's great. Awesome, awesome, yeah, yeah. Oh, mate. But, uh, man, I guess I could bring back that tune I was just playing uh, for a little bit. I was, uh, I was winding down, been streaming for a little, almost five hours, give or take, and then I was going to go raid uh, my buddy Cog stream. Um, he's got a modular as well. It's handmade, and uh, he finally brought that home. He's been working on a remix for the last... Uh, a few weeks now and he streams that on the weekend and so uh, I'm excited to check out his modular um, well I've seen it but I've never seen him stream it I've seen it you know but I've never seen him like you know show everybody it that's something new <laughs> yeah we'll go, we'll go back we'll do a little more of this uh, fun fun run yesterday. I can usually go longer. I've just, I've been streaming really hard for the past two months straight and it's starting to catch up to me. Whatever.
Do you ever hit a wall where it's like, I have no idea what to do next? Yeah, I've been doing that all day. Been doing that all day. Hit that sometimes, but it's possible to push through. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. You just gotta break your habits, I think. Um, today, I mean, most of the time, the Euro Rack, which is what we've been streaming with, every it's it's designed. I I, I picked it up from these. I, I basically found Euro versions of modules that I use every time that bring the hits. You know, that are I can just go beep up up and like magic comes out coming back to the modular I'm really trying not to do that too much and I'm trying to bring this guy in again and I remember it's 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 tricky because I'm trying to integrate you know modules I, I I I'm like oh yeah that's a booger that'll take a minute but I think it's good because it it, it gets your uh, it gets you out of your head space and, and kind of works you into different sections but yeah, I've been doing it all day, but I mean, you just kind of keep keep going and something will come out of it. Uh, you definitely don't want to get frustrated. I think thinking and chilling uh, have worked today. Today hasn't been so much material so much as uh, just kind of farting around, I guess. I don't know. Oh, shit. I think I changed the key. for a really long time. I've done software. I, before that, I was a big hardware freak. I had tons of hardware and hardware sequencers. You know, I'm just all over the place. The whole trip down the rabbit hole with modular synthesis was I was reading in Wikipedia, in fact, about it because I didn't really know anything and I was researching and I, I knew about Dofer systems and Dieter Dofer stuff, and but I, I didn't... Uh, I didn't know, you know, I, I thought, I think what a lot of people do with modular is just make a voice. And I thought that's what that was, like to make a really fat bass line, you would get a modular. And that's not untrue at all, but that's, I, I always tell people that's like getting a lifted truck with big old fat tires and never taking it off the pavement. Making sure you don't drive over, you know, uh, concrete barriers. I'm, what the hell are you doing? You got a big truck. Go nuts, you know? So that's the same thing um, with this is I, 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 uh, I don't think it's, it's making voices so much as getting like weird music making stuff. Um, and so when I was reading that that and then the, the line that caught my mind or my memory or whatever was that said, uh, a modular synth, you're able to integrate different pieces modularly. So in theory, you can create a limitless amount of sound. And that's all I needed. I knew you could do it with computers too, but the idea of doing it with analog hardware sounded really interesting to me. And I can't program um, and stuff like that. So it's, uh, or I can, but I'm, I'm not gonna, I'd rather solder, it's funner. So yeah, I started soldering and I started building this thing and yeah, I, 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 I haven't been able to get back into computers. In fact, um, I know we're brothers in arms, but 
I was just saying an hour or so ago that as soon as I get my other sequencer, the TKB, which I would have had, but we tried to upgrade the power supply, and so I pulled the old one out, and then my iron, my soldering iron completely died, and so, actually, we blew a cap, it was on the stream, but anyways, I, um, I kind of took it out of commission, and I thought, oh, well, you know, we'll try something different, but when that gets back, I probably won't use the, uh, the beat step at all. Um, I'll probably just use that um, for jamming and stuff. We'll see. I, I'll keep it here, but uh, and I'll probably take the keyboard out and put the TKB here. But uh, it's it's a really cool um, it's a cool synth or uh, sequencer. I would also. Uh, we're working on a clay on the um, clay sequencer on the on the weekdays. I don't know if you're familiar with that, but that's a really really cool hardware sequencer that they created a software version of, and you can even get it as a demo. So if you uh, if you don't want to commit, I think it's really cheap, like forty. I never bought it because the demo is exactly what I want. It works for, it, everything works, but you can't save it, and it only goes for 20 minutes, and then it, and that's, that's me. I love it, I love wiping it out, so, it's, uh, yeah, I checked it out after we talked. Okay, that was you, I wasn't for sure, I apologize. It's fantastic, fantastic, that was you. I, again, I'm sorry, I, I get everybody confused. Uh, you all look the same on the, on the screen. No, I'm teasing me. Thank you. That's cool. Yeah, I've been telling people about it because I forgot what a cool sequencer it was and how it's, you know, at the very least, it's good for writing some cool little samples and stuff, you know, if you're, if you're into that, if you're like a sample hound. I changed the key, and I think these guys keep detuning. which is why I have my bag. Sounds CS80, yeah. It's just the, uh, the D. If I could play the keys. I shifted this key out, and now it's just like...
How am I mixing? Um, so I've got this mixer here. The modular's got its own feed, which is channel one. The Shruti down here, which we're not listening to, has channel two. The Nava, which is the drum machine, is here. And then this is submixed on a little uh, mixer I have here with uh, reverb and delay and all that. And then I have delay on a send here, which is, yeah, it's on the, the modular, the big boy. And then I'm recording it all multi-channel, uh, hopefully posterity of some sort. Um, it didn't work out too well today, but I'll figure it out. Oh wait, why am I using that keyboard? This one's cooler. Wait, it stopped being cool. What'd I do? How did I turn this? No, wait. What the heck? Why is... Why did this stop working when I started talking? What the heck? That's weird. Okay. Weird. Oh man, that's weird. So yeah, just still have to figure that out, I guess. Don't know why. Make sure that that's the. channel. This whole thing, oh well. Would these jams be part of a release one day, seeing as you're recording multi-channel MIDI bugs? Yeah, I think it is a weird bug. Um, probably just power it off and turn it back on. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm trying to. Uh, a lot of people have been interested in it, and which I find interesting, <laughs> honestly, because I didn't expect that. So, uh, yeah, I, uh, I recorded yesterday's, so I figured I'd chop it up into uh, files, you know, a little bit like 30-minute chunks or something and put it up on Bandcamp, but um, I want to, uh, but I wasn't able to multi-channel yesterday. I want to multi-track it because my hope is to just give it, put it out as stems so that uh, people could go and use it for sound design. And I, you know, I'd have it as, you know, commercial free or whatever, and people could use it for sound designing or if they want to do like a dub version or they want to do a remix completely with it. They would have all the elements there, so, you know, at least it'd be better building blocks than just, you know, the whole mix. Plus, you could get rid of my jazz notes and warts and stuff like that out of there. I think it'd be cool. I, I think it'd be a nice uh, kind of community thing, you know, putting out putting out something in that univoice. Yeah, yeah. I think it'd be fun. I need to do, um, I have to do some work though. <laughs> Ask my listeners to contribute loops for my sets. Interesting, interesting. Uh, I'm totally going to steal some of your uh, loops. Feel free, feel free, absolutely. That's what they're there for. I, I, I have no issues with that. Uh, at all, it's uh, it's all cool, Daddyo. Because um, I don't think they're very good. I think I could do much better. So if you think you can make something out of it, that's even awesome. And uh, really, I in fact I I I the last release I put out, it was a was a versus album, and a good friend of mine, who's uh, he does pretty well for himself musically. 
he, uh, he, I said like, we should collaborate sometime. And he's like, um, sooner rather than later. So he put a, he put me up to it. And I, uh, I went and saw him in LA and was talking to him. And I was like, man, I gotta come clean. I don't have anything. I don't have anything for you. I've just been writing stoner crap and like recording it. So I have like 30 minute recordings of just an os- two oscillators detuned. And he's like, perfect, send me that. And um, and I send him that and a couple of other things. And uh, I think it's like a six, five or six track EP. It's, it's pretty fun. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, 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 of course, yeah. That would be great, I would appreciate that. You know, throwing, throwing a little love my way with people for sure. But uh, yeah, it's all about name things uh, too. I'm, I'm always big on that. Because uh, that's how it's always been in the scene, you know? Everybody's like, oh, you think I'm great? Oh, you like what I did here? You should check out my buddy such and such. Or my friend so and so's. They do this, and it's 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 lit. It's really great. It's, 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 it's what you like about me tenfold, you know? Or amplified. And, because uh, I think, uh, I think in the, you know, it's ignorant and stupid to think you're gonna get rich by being an ass and like all that. That's stupid. That doesn't make any sense to me. I think we'll all get, we all do well if we all uh, help each other. <coughs> oh. Definitely check out uh, yesterday's stream if you didn't already, and uh, there should be some a lot more loops in there. I, I threw some clips up. I always clip um, the, the, the jams and stuff, so maybe people can get some like good ideas of where to come in and whatnot. Um, but yeah, yeah, I I'll, uh, I look forward to checking that out. I've, I've got you on the the notifications and. Uh, It was a good day. I got, got some, got some bitty love, and uh, just a nice day. I got a lot learned out of the, from the stream too, from doing it like this, and uh, next weekend will 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 be a little bit tighter than this weekend for sure. Uh, because I really didn't think very how long ahead. I'm just so used to using my Euro rack for the past nine months. I forgot what uh, what trouble it can be. Ha <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Well, rock and roll, guys. I think I'm gonna call it a night. Um, again, today was awesome. Uh, Japanese for good job. Ah, donkashin. Because I can't remember what Japanese for thank you is. It's probably really obvious, like, when I couldn't remember the Japanese word for yes. And they're like, dude, you're an idiot. It's like the shortest syllable one of yes in the world. Oh. I'll figure it out someday. But yeah, today was great. We did a lot. Um, this week uh, on the builds, TKB is going to get repaired tomorrow. We'll get that all up and running. Uh, I've got the iron. I've got some parts. We've got a boatload of Molex parts in. Um, and then uh, if, you know, we can work on the clay. If anything, I'd really like to take some of these modules out that were giving me trouble and try to fix them. Um, I don't have my 15 volt power supply though. I may have to go get a power supply unit, finally. And then I've got a buddy with some vin- vintage uh, mixing stuff, mixing consoles that uh, he really, really wants me to do some more stuff with. Um, 
and I'd like to as well. I'd like to really turn it into an educational thing where we kind of learn about mixers and a lot about how they work and what modifications there are and what they really do and what they pretend like they do and all that garbage. Kind of seed through that. He's, uh, he's really knowledgeable about it. I've been talking to him about trying to do that, but I'm terrified of turning the stream into like a, a podcast. So, <laughs> but uh, who knows? We might, we might do something. I'm always trying to think of something, uh, you know, to, to just bring that, that education levels up. So eyes get smarters and, and eyes have good smarts. <laughs> You should do a separate podcast. Oh my god, yeah, because I don't have... I, I, yeah, because I don't need to sleep. <laughs> I don't need to sleep at all. I'll, I'll just... Because <laughs> I, 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 I don't mean to complain and I have no room for sympathy because I'm loving every minute of it. But I wake up and I work on stream. I... I I, I go to I go to sleep and I think about it. I after it's done with this, I, I'm gonna have to move to the other room. I gotta eat dinner sometime. I just literally have no time to sleep, and I've I've lately been starting to sleep like six hours or so, and uh, it's not working out. <laughs> it's catching up on me, but um, I'll figure it out. I might take a couple of days off. I've been only taking one day off a week. And I might just do like a two-dayer um, here, at some point. We'll see. Whatever. I'm talking. I'm talking my butt off here. I'm sorry, guys. Let's go ahead. Let's raid Cat and Cog. Oh my God, he's got the beast up. Good, good God. It's like looking into the eyes of heaven, or the eyes of God. Whatever. It's beautiful. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, take it easy. Thanks for everything today. Thanks for all the new follows. Thanks for the biddies. Thanks for the love. And uh, see you soon. <laughs>